clicker training a bird dog retrieve to hand. Part 1. The great thing about training a chain is that you can separate parts of the chain out and retrain each. <laughs> Since the last behavior needed from a dog when delivering a bird to hand is delivering to hand, start with training that behavior. It will then be the strongest link in the chain and the dog will always be working towards a behavior she knows best. This helps significantly amid all the challenges of a field retrieve. It always helps to make a training plan so you know what's coming next. You can name each behavior in the chain, then fade them, or you can just click and treat for completion at each step. Step 1. Shape your dog to take and hold the bumper while you still hold it. If you or your dog have never done shaping before, it's a good idea to first practice on an object you don't care about, like a wooden dowel or a narrow PVC pipe. Choose an object that's comfortable for your dog to hold. Progressively click for sniff, nose touch, open mouth, tooth grab, etc. Aiming for a grab with the object behind the canine teeth. When your dog is giving that consistently, try for either two grabs, a lift, or a split second longer hold. Good girl. Jessie's already given me two lifts by this point. Start again with the dog in another position. Sit, down, facing a different way, etc. This helps her understand that the take and hold behavior is what you want and that her position, direction, or other environmental features are not what you're looking for. Step 2. Once the dog understands hold, start to fade your hands. Finger touch only. One hand removed. Both hands removed. For some dogs, asking her to hold it on her own right away gives the dog more control than she's ready for. Increase the length of time that the dog holds it. Use small increments such as one to two seconds. Practice until she can hold it for 30 seconds. Vary her position. Step three, pick the bumper up off the floor and hand it to you. Review the take and hold behavior before lowering the bumper in stages towards the floor. We're doing two criteria together, take and hold. Jessie lifts the bumper. This means she's ready for the next step. My criteria here was just to grab the bumper. But since she's offering, I try to click as she lifts. The next few are better timed. A nice lift. Fade my hands, but I point to the bumper to help her when she hesitates the first time. Step four, adding distance to the bring. Place the treat slightly behind where you want the dog and place the bumper down. I didn't click this as it wasn't the solid hold I wanted. Throw the treat behind the dog to get her to move back further. <laughs> Step five, add speed to the bring. I cue Jessie to hurry. Most dogs run out faster than they return. This may be because of the added weight of the bird, but also because the bird's more exciting <laughs> than you. Hurry! This is an example of how you can isolate one Good part of the behavior. Girl. Teach hurry separately. Step six, bring and hold. I add a third criteria, take, lift, and hold. Take it. Notice there is no distance requirement for this step. She's sniffing around for a treat that dropped out of her mouth. Take it. Good girl. 
Step seven, bring and sit in front for delivery. You can cue a sit or just capture one. Add distance to the carry and sit. Okay. This adds another criteria. Notice how Jesse forgets to sit right away. There is no duration for the sit at this point on purpose. I wanted Jesse to sit closer to me for easier reach, so we worked on that separately. Check out Shaping Fronts in part two. I hand targeted her closer here. You can train your dog to swing around beside you or go around behind you and sit at your side. The dog needs to know these behaviors before asking her to do them with the bumper in her mouth. Add duration after she understands the basic behavior. Step eight, the send out. The bumper was placed in front of the dog, not me, so it was obvious what I was looking for. She turns back to me to do the delivery. Add distance. Change position from sitting to standing. She relearns where to position herself in relation to the new image of me. Step nine, add distance to send out. As you get more distance, bumper placement isn't as important. Good girl. Very nice. You could even start laying it in the same direction the dog must run to get it. See? You could start throwing the bumper to get more enthusiasm. Most dogs get more enthusiastic <coughs> as you add distance as the bumper might get away. Note her return is much slower. Here I faded the clicker. Thank you, good girl. Thank you is her out cue. Look for part two finishing touch behaviors and see how to retrain this in the field.